Right, since I've been working at this heap for far too long now, I've decided to do something a bit different to take my head off things. So one rear wheel drive converted to Z-Tech blacktop 2 litre with bike carbs, one ST170, that is going into my Mark II Escort. Um, it already has the mounts and stuff on it from where I've been trial fitting. So the goal for today is to swap the sumps over. Um, there's a Neil Dunn sump on the ST and there's a CVH sump on this one. So I'm going to put the Neil Dunn sump on the ST170. There was a turbo manifold in this that I bought as an impulse buy before I decided to go with ITBs. So that needs to come off. Um, and the Harris Performance manifold needs to go on. Um, the rocket cover on an ST170 is some sort of funny metal, I think it's magnesium or something. So this here on a Mark II hits the bulkhead. So I haven't opened it yet, but I got one of them from Ben Sanso. Um, he has weld that up and I believe there's another fitting either on there or he's put a 90 on or something so it's more suitable for the job um, yeah that's really the talking bit done just time to crack open the music and watch me swap bits over sump off and the oil pickup and stuff like that that all comes along with the sump and um, mounts and stuff are staying on it it's been sold to a friend of mine who is putting them into his capri so mounts and stuff staying on it most of the stuff staying on it to be fair just the stuff i need for the mark ii it's coming off it so can we get this turned over now, let's see if this actually works Now, this is the needle done sump. <clears throat> you still see his name stuck on it. This is the needle done sump. So, it's time for me to try and get this off in one piece. Yes, there are sixes, people around. And they are. 
the silicone on the oil pickup, but at least it did its job. Now, what are the torques? Right. Next step. I'll take this dipstick out. Stop it getting damaged. I think the next logical step really is to take into the ST engine and do the same. And then I can swap over the sumps and pickups in the one go. So yeah. the rugger cover on <clears throat> get a great looks a lot nicer than the old one and um, it has the benefits of having that cut off and welded up and it moved and welded on to the side that should make it a wee bit easier to get a breather take off i'd like to introduce you to another bit of kit that i've got for this it's a coil on plug conversion kit and um, i think it's made by zoo speed so thanks zach for this uh, the wife bought it for me for christmas about two or three years ago and i still haven't learned to fit in it so might as well now. One slight downside is, I think I've, yeah, I've put in the bolts for the rocket cover that hold it on, so I'll have to buzz them out again. Not a big deal. This basically allows you to run I think it's a Toyota coil this is suited for and um, it does away with the coil pack and in my opinion just looks a whole lot nicer than plug leads and coil packs lying everywhere in the engine bay so hence why I went for it probably is some sort of performance gain too but I really went for the looks to be fair
Try to get these out without scoring the paint or the powder coat would be great. Right. I'm still here, just trying to work out what hardware goes where. Right. Right. I'm not entirely sure what way this goes together to be truthful folks. You might look back in pictures and see. Okay, so after looking at the internet for some pictures on his Facebook page, I've since figured it out. Uh, those need to screw up from the bottom side and then there's a lock nut on the top to hold the coil packs whenever they arrive. These seem to just screw down in um, and hold the plate down in place. So I'll get those bolted on. Again, this is probably all going to come up again, but you know what it's like. I just want to see what it looks like. I was going to finish what it's going to look like. Yep, that's them now, plate's insecure. So the next bit is going to be to try and strip this old engine mount off the front from the front wheel drive setup. Um, strip it all down here and try and get it set up for rear wheel drive. Here it goes.
think that's going to do me for today, mainly because I need parts. I'm going to order up a new sump gasket um, for the ST engine. The cork one that was on is all covered in silicone and it's spit in a couple of places, so I'll just replace it while I have it off. Um, and another note, if anybody knows what gasket Neil Dunn uses on his kits, write it in the comments please. <laughs> um, for swapping the pickups over, I've had to swap a couple of things. Um, the, there's a standoff on the Neil Dunn pickup kit, so I had to swap it from the ZTEC engine over there onto the ST. Um, and vice versa then, for putting this back onto this engine. I had to take a main bearing cap bolt out and retorque it down with the pickup in. Uh, for anybody interested in the CVH setup, this is the CVH pickup pipe that has been modified to fit. Uh, I didn't do it, I bought it like this. So it is welded on that bracket that's obviously on the main bearing cap. Um, the sump itself, this one has been modified. Um, as you can see, it's been cut out for the to clear the cross member, and it's been a bit of an addition added onto the side of it, like a wing added on. Um, so, yeah, if you're looking to go the or the CVH sump route, that is the way it's done. The Neil Dunn sump is a lovely unit, I have to say. Um, so, hence why it's got on the ST engine. Um, so yeah. You got a Lumi for today. You might have seen me at one point turning the engine around a couple of times. I didn't realise whenever I took the solenoid off for the VVT that the plunger and spring and everything would fall out. So I had a bit of a mission to get that back together, but it's done now. Um, yeah, I think that'll do me for today. Thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, there will be plenty more content coming on the Escort at a later date. At the moment, everything's locked down with the old coronavirus, so I can't really get up to see the progress, but the welder man is working away at it, he assures me. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.